Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com, and here in YouTube, you know me as Epic Fantasy. And this is my latest tutorial. This is a craft foam project. It is how to make a craft foam van brace, which is the forearm. It's also called the lower cannon, but it's in armor terms. It's kind of nice, neat little project. We make it out of craft foam, which is a pretty remarkable kind of foam like this. When you heat it up, you can shape it. So that's what we did. We heated up and we shaped it. I give you the template. You can print this up and use it to make your van brace. And I give you two different sizes. The large, which I'm wearing here, and the medium. Kind of neat if your arm is smaller. Right? Uh, and it goes, this project goes along with my craft foam uh, gauntlet. Fun project, easy to do, you just need a few basic supplies. And that's it, let's launch into the introduction and then let's do how to make a craft foam van brace. Thank you. Dioramas, origami, catapults, and trebuchets, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, model boxes, animation. I teach you how to feel creation. Stormycastle.com. Let's make something. Okay, go to, in the description of this video is the link to the template. Print up that template and cut out the pieces and decide whether you want to make the medium or the large. And this little ornament too, if you're going to make the large, print up this ornament too. Or you can use it on the small. Um, we're using colored paper only to show you, it makes it easier for you to see. But um, you'll print up on white paper so it doesn't use too much ink. Now take those pieces and put them on craft foam and trace them. And you don't need one big sheet of craft foam, you can use smaller sheets. Now notice something here, the van brace overlaps, it's three segments that overlap and this shows you the overlap. So mark out where those dotted lines are and I'm going to show you how to mark it. But put a little mark there and then use the template pieces like this. So we've got the mark there and then use the template like this to mark that line. And this way you know where to overlap them it's when you glue them together. Do that on all three pieces. Fun project. I really like this project. I'm going to do more armor. I'm going to do probably the upper cannon or the, the bicep section next. See, each piece has an overlap at the wider end. See, on that piece, that segment, is the wider end has the overlap. There you go. Now cut those pieces out. And if you're going to use the little shield, cut that, out. cut that out too. But you know, you can decorate this any way you want. Put your own personal coat of arms on it or something. That'd be fun. Now glue all three pieces together. And you glue the smaller one on top. So you take piece two and glue it on top of the bigger one, like that. Then you take the smallest piece and you glue it on top. That's better for the way the armor works, and the better for how it looks. It looks better this way. So glue them that way. The smallest one is on the, the uppermost one. And then if you're going to do the shield, you can put that on now, or you can put that on later. And I'm going to show you two different ways to ornament um, your van brace a little bit later in the video. Because we do a silver one and we do a gold one. We do actually a large and a medium. So now, how do you form it? It's kind of neat. You can try some different techniques, but this works really well. Um, hold it gently and carefully over a stove and rotate it. That heat will soften it and you'll feel it get soft. And then you can form it on something. You can make up a little curve something with newspaper. You can use a Pringles can or something like that. But listen, be careful. If you are under 18, don't do this on your own. Get a parent to supervise you because that is fire and it is dangerous. But it works really well. You might, if you have a, um, a heat gun, you can use that. There you go. Form it around the can so you get it. It doesn't have to be perfect. It'll be nice like that. And you do the same thing for the back piece. I didn't show you the back piece, but in the template is the inside of the wrist. That's the top of the forearm. There's another piece for the inside of the wrist. That's in the template too. You shape that too. Heat it up and shape it. Easy to do. Take your time. There you go. So 
So now if you have Mod Podge, seal this up. This will give it some strength and help it to keep its shape. You can use a 50-50 mix of water and white glue. It will harden it, give it a better metal look. Um, and now I'm going to show you the two different ways we can do it. On the left is gold with rivets and a pattern, and on the right is the larger one. So let's do the um, smaller gold one first. And this is a neat little technique. Draw out two circles on each segment, left and right, all three segments on the left side and the right side, and then hot glue them. And there's a neat trick for doing a nice hot glue kind of like rivet. You put a dab on there and then you circle around the gun like that. Circle it around and it gets rid of the trail along strings. So you do those along the side and then make yourself some kind of pattern right there. And then hot glue that. And now you'll have a nice three-dimensional pattern on it. That's kind of neat. Any pattern you want. Now let's do the um, other type of technique. If you haven't done it already, you can glue on um, craft foam. That technique was all about hot glue. This technique is all about craft foam. And then punch out a few circles, and these become your rivets. And we're not going to do these along the sides. We're going to do these on the segment like this, which is kind of neat. So yeah, that looks really good. Just do a bunch of them. Eight of them on each segment. Eight in that section, eight on the center segment, and eight more on the smaller segment. And then seal those up, too. Seal all of that up with your Mod Podge or your glue mix. And sealing is optional. So now, we want it to be vibrant and metallic-like. Paint it with a base coat of black. Every layer of paint you can get on this thing, the, the nicer it'll be. And make sure you do the inside, too. Paint it a layer of black. And then, now you get options for silver. Um, you can paint on silver, which gives it a nice kind of like brushed metallic look, even a little bit worn, see it? It's kind of neat. Or you can use um, a spray paint silver, which I really like because it's very shiny. It's almost like ceremonial armor. So you can just leave the silver brushed on, and that looks good. Or you can do the spray on silver, which is really not my favorite. It looks kind of like steel. Or you can do gold. Gold is kind of neat too. Really quite simple to paint it. And make sure you paint the bottom half too. That's the other segment. That's at your wrist underneath. So now let's put the two pieces together. Run yourself a bead of glue, hot glue, right along here on the under segment. On just one side, don't do the other side. We're going to handle this. You have to be able to open this up and um, take it apart so you can get your hand in there. And then glue those two pieces together like this with the under segment on the inside. If you have trouble with the glue, you can scrape away some of the paint and with like a wire brush or something or a little sandpaper and it will help the glue to set and hold strong. Now for the opening end, it's almost like a hinge we're making. You can, if you, you can use a full strip of Velcro, or you can cut your Velcro down so it's less noticeable. So in this way, we'll be able to open it and close it as we want. Open it, put it on, close it, take it, and open it, take it off. Put a strip, now, and this is a neat way to do Velcro. Put either the negative or the positive, the hooks or the loops, like this. And then it, once it's dried, the glue is dried, attach the other half of Velcro either the loops or the strips. Attach it like they're, like they're going to do that. See? And it's going to go like that. And then put glue on the back of that. Both strips are on there. Attached correctly. And then we use the hot glue to glue the other half on. And this way you know exactly how it's going to be when it's set. And then just glue it in. That's it. Very nice. Once that glue dries, you can separate it like Velcro. It's, it is Velcro. And that's it. You have made a craft foam van brace. Make two of them, one for each arm. Let's take a look. See the Velcro? And see how it op only opens on one side, which is neat. And now you can close it up. I like it. It looks like steel. 
Yay. I'm probably, like I said, I'm probably going to do more armor. And the gauntlet. I think I should repaint that gauntlet to make it shinier. Thanks for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing to my channel. If you're not a subscriber, hit that button. I always have lots of fun and interesting and very creative projects. I do two new ones every week. As an example, here's a couple more videos you might want to watch.